vlogging again. You're watching me vlog again. We're back in the same setup again, and it feels good to get back into this routine. Um, it's been a great morning, and I hope you're having a great day too so far. What are you doing in here? Are you still sleepy? It started off as a rainy morning, but it's looking like a sunny and cloudy day now. So it's gonna be a good day. It's actually a national holiday today, so it's really quiet. Um, let's head up to my office and have a little chat. Today's just gonna be a chill video at home. I hope you guys don't mind, but I don't really have anything exciting planned for this video, but I just wanted to pick up my camera and vlog today and just hang out with you guys and just talk and update you about what's going on um, up until now and in the future, I guess. Um, so recently, I haven't vlogged in I think three days. Yes, I didn't vlog till from the 6th until today, which is the 9th. Um, basically, I was just settling in my house um, dealing with jet lag, which is still not dealt with yet. My sleeping patterns are still not right, but that's okay. Um, and basically the hardest part was dealing with the post leaving my family depression that I always get. It always lasts for about at least a week where I just feel really upset and I miss them so much because when I'm home, I think you could tell in my videos, we're a really close family. We're always together, we're always bugging each other, but at the same time, we're always there for each other too. Um, we're just really super close and I miss them like crazy when I'm here by myself. Well, I have my boyfriend and my dog and my friends, but I miss my sisters, my brothers, my grandma, everybody. I think you guys know what I'm trying, trying to say, but we're, super, we're so close to the point where um, when I was staying at my grandma's before we left, I was going to the bathroom and I didn't lock the door because I'm at my grandma's like it's, nothing's gonna happen and so I thought she just opened the bathroom door and started having a conversation with me while I was going to the bathroom and she didn't even flinch like she didn't think anything she just opened it and casually had a conversation with me and I was just sitting there like naked there down and just like okay grandma okay like that's that's how close and comfortable we are with each other um, so yeah, I really really miss them and it takes me a while to settle in and get used to just not having them around I mean there is Skype Which is something that I want to do more But it's it's just not the same as feeling them being with them being able to pick up the phone at any time of the day and call them Or just go see them. So those of you that are around your family all the time I'm really jealous of you for that. So make sure you spend time with your family because um Life gets busy, but it's really important. And it really, when I go home, I always feel really grounded and like I get back to the way I, I'm supposed to be or the way I know I am. I just like, it just makes me reset, reset and rebalance. And I really appreciate that time. But I will be okay. I always am, I always keep moving forward. So I was just dealing with that for the first few days. Not only that, but it's like the end of Christmas and the beginning of a new year is always kind of depressing for me. I don't know why. Like, well, first of all, cleaning up the the Christmas decorations was so depressing for me because I'm so excited for Christmas every year. And this year I really decorated my whole house and went all out. And then I had to take everything down and like it really sunk in that Christmas is really over, that my family time is over all that stuff is over and I think I was just like whining to my boyfriend all the time and he was just like, it's not a big deal, Taylor. Cause he's Asian and Christmas isn't that big of a deal. But um, I even made him watch Christmas movies with me still after I took down the tree, I wasn't ready to let go. So there was one night we had a hot pot dinner and we were watching Four Christmases, which is one of my favorite Christmas movies. It's a funny one. So yeah, I was still doing that. So I got through that. And also the start of a new year, I always um, extra question myself, like what am I doing with my life? Where do I wanna go? And it's a good thing, like, cause you start planning and start setting goals and things start to become clear, but it also kind of makes me feel depressed and upset at the same time because I don't have everything that I wanna achieve. Uh, 2016 was a good year. I know 2016 was a bad year for a lot of people and a lot of things happened in the world, but personally, it wasn't a bad year for me. I I, I, I think I did a lot of things and a lot, a lot of things happened that I'm quite happy with, but at the same time, I'm, I'm not where I wanna be yet, if that makes sense. So 
I don't know, I just thinking a lot of things, a lot of mixed emotions, feelings, that's what's been going on the past few days. And I've been trying to get back into exercising and just like setting goals, New Year's goals. I guess everyone thinks about that, like resolutions or what you wanna do. And my main ones are definitely making more time for family and friends. Um, whether that be in real life or Skype, I want to try it. Like, I hope my mom can come back to Japan again or I can go home again. Well, I will be going home in the summer. Um, I need to definitely go home at least twice a year. There was one time when I was shooting TV dramas that I didn't go home for Christmas, but it really makes a difference and I want to do that. Um, make more time for Skype with my, especially my grandparents. I used to often Skype them every night, but then when I started doing daily vlogging, I was usually releasing the vlog here at 9.30 p.m. And then I would be doing stuff for that after and I would end up just going to sleep and doing my work and not talking to my family. So I really wanna do more of that and just like do things more with friends because I don't know how much longer all of us will be here together. I always say that, but I think a lot is gonna change this year and next year. So I wanna get together more with my friends and spend more quality time with my boyfriend as well. So those personal relationships, I really wanna work on more. And then also working out. Um, when I was doing Vlogmas, I really pushed my health to the side. I always ate, I ate a lot of takeout or fast food just to get the meals over and done with quickly and so I didn't have to clean up so I could focus on shooting or editing. Um, I didn't work out at all pretty much, like maybe one or two days only. So I really let my health go downhill because I wanted to focus all my, my attention on either shooting, planning, editing videos. I was doing one to two a day, which I don't regret. I had an amazing December. I enjoyed shooting Vlogmas so much, but it's time for me to um, put my health back in one of my top priorities and do more of that. So I need to get back to the gym and back to eating healthier and back to cooking more instead of doing eating so much takeout. And another thing I want to do is explore more um, business wise, look at different business opportunities that I can do with either my channel or my social media or starting to do create things on my own separately. Um, yeah, I'm gonna look more into that. And then I was also thinking about my channel and what I wanna do with that or what the future is. And then this year, I think I I do wanna make a video every day, um, whether it be a vlog or main videos. Um, I won't be doing vlogging every single day. I will take days off here and there. And when I do take days off, hopefully I'll have a main video instead. And if there is nothing, then I hope you guys can understand that every once in a while I do need a day off. But I will try my best to post content every day or almost every day. And then with that, I also want to show more around Japan. I want to get more outside Tokyo. I said that last year too, and I did it quite a bit, but I want to do it even more like I love traveling, obviously, but there's so many little places inside Tokyo that I want to go and explore and see and show you guys too because I feel like Japan has so much to offer outside of Tokyo. Another thing I really want to do is meet more people, whether that be inside Japan or outside Japan and do more collaborations. I feel like YouTube is a really good platform to meet a lot of different people, make new friends and yeah, it's, it, it is a way how I met all my friends here like Sharla, etc. But um, I feel like I haven't fully taken advantage of that and I would like to like go to more countries this year and meet some YouTubers in those countries and just hang out and create content and just like broaden my friendship group all over the world. I also really wanna do some live streams. I haven't done them yet on YouTube. I did one online before and it was a lot of fun, but I don't know, I feel really nervous and shy about it. Um, talking like this is really easy because I know if I make a mistake, I can edit it out but um, I feel like I need a plan maybe. So let me know what type of live content you guys would like to see, whether it just be like chatting and you guys ask me questions or somewhere I should go. Let me know what type of stuff you wanna see because I'm really considering doing lives and I think it's really fun. I enjoy watching them, but um, yeah. Or maybe if I'm with a group of friends, it would be easier because I feel like if it's just me, all the pressure's on me and I, I don't know, I always just feel so nervous and shy about it, but I do wanna do those. Um, let me know what you guys are, what your goals or New Year's resolutions are, whether that be with work or your personal life. Um, put it in the comments section because I'm sure there's a lot of things that I didn't think of that if I see in the comments, I'll be like, oh yeah, I should be doing that too, or that's a good idea. 
not only me but for a lot of other people so yeah i'm really interested to read what you guys want to do this year and i hope 2016 was good for you guys and if it wasn't i hope 2017 will be much better um but just remember you guys have the power to do what you want to do just make each day count and just set your goals and do something each day to work towards that and try to make it the best year you've had yet i definitely want to do that myself so today what are we gonna do i don't know to be honest um i have been watching a lot of youtube videos the last few days a lot especially when i'm up late at night i've been waking up around 3 a.m. or something and then I'll stay awake all morning and then fall asleep again so I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos and it's been wanting it's been making me want to pick up my camera so much so yeah I just wanted to do that and I don't really have a plan today like I said we have a little bit of cleaning up to do maybe some cooking it's a public holiday like I mentioned so I'm not even sure if the grocery store is open or not but we're gonna try and find some things to do all right, let's go make some lunch. To be honest, I just wanted to order delivery and I know I said I wasn't gonna do that, but I was gonna order something healthy, but the delivery um, companies are all closed today. So I've got to make something with what's in my cupboard and we haven't really gone food shopping. So I have no idea what we're gonna have. Tony. Hello, Elbosan. All right, we've got eggs, pickles, and condiments, and Coke Zero, and beer, and soy milk. And oh, we got broccoli. Cook up some broccoli. Um, what can we put with the broccoli? Mm -hmm. I would do some lentils, but those I have to soak. It will take too long. Do I have any canned tomatoes or something? Oh, I have some lentil, golden lentil, the lentil vegetable. I could make rice with broccoli <laughs> and this and then put it on top of rice. I think I'm gonna do that. Yeah, my boyfriend wants this curry. It's what, beef, beef and onion curry. And apparently it has everything inside the sauce and the meat, he thinks it's so delicious. So perfect, that's easy for me to make. I'm just making some rice here. We're making the Thai rice, which I haven't had in a while, but I really love Thai rice. The flavor is so nice. First, I'm gonna make the broccoli and I'm not gonna use any oil. Now I'm gonna try to use less oil in my cooking. So the trick to that is to use water. So you grab a nonstick pan, add your vegetables and just add a little bit of water. And if it starts to become dry and slightly sticking then you can just add a little bit more water and I feel like it gives the broccoli a really nice texture because it kind of steams it at the same time so I'm just gonna cook those up fry it up with a little bit of water and leave them still crunchy so not I'm not gonna cook them for too too long and I'm just gonna add a little bit of sea salt black pepper garlic spice I don't have fresh garlic or else I would put that but sprinkle a little bit of this on and a little bit of lemon juice actually not bad at all the curry spice added a little kick to it and it actually tastes sort of like a dal curry combined maybe it's really good especially for an impromptu lunch like I, I had nothing in my cupboard so yeah quite happy with this let's do an outfit of the day it's been a while since I've been in this mirror since I'm just staying at home I threw on this very loose comfy long shirt it has two roses here and I got it at a Yumi San's shop. Um, it's called Amy and the Baddie Girls and it's in La Forêt, Harajuku. And I'm just wearing with some leggings that I got on ASOS.com, two for one deal. And my slippers are from Forever 21. And the Kylie Jenner lip kit in Clo Money. And now I have something that I really want to do that I've been procrastinating is change my bed sheets. Oh, but first, um, I just want to tell you guys, because some of you are asking me, I tried this foundation today. That's the one I'm wearing now. 
the one I got in New York City, um, the Urban Decay All Nighter. And I'm not too sure how I feel about it yet. I don't want to give my opinion just yet because it's the first time I've worn it. I will update you guys later. Actually, that's one thing I want to do on my channel. One of the series that I want to have is a sort of beauty or items I like and dislike. I feel like there's a lot of, um, it's easy to stay positive about everything and on YouTube there's a lot of sponsored videos and it's hard to tell what is what or if everyone's telling the whole truth and I want to do one that I say the things I like, which is normal, like my favorites, but also the things I dislike. So especially the beauty products I've tried that just didn't work for me. I don't know, I want to do something. Let me know if you guys are interested in that. Because, um, yeah, I think saying the negatives is also important, which doesn't mean it wouldn't work for you guys too, but I just want to give my honest opinion and, and yeah. That being said, I also tried the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer, and I really like it, but it's a lot lighter than the NARS one. Um, a bit too light for me, if that makes sense. I don't know, I like the formula of the NARS one. Where is it? This one. The NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I like this a lot better. So I'm probably going to stick to this one or I might mix the two. So yeah, I'm going to keep playing with some new stuff that I got and I will update you guys on that later. Now we have to find where I put the bed sheets. Okay, you'll have to move because I'm cleaning the sheets. <clears throat> I think we both could sleep right now actually. It's like 3 o'clock. Oh, it's your time. We should go get a coffee. But I want to change the sheets. Ooh, steamroll! Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> steamrolling you. Wow, my face is <laughs> Your bony is like... On top. <laughs> my bony ass. Squeeze my bone together. It's crazy. Oh. Come on eh. Alright, that got you out though. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, let's do the sheets. I probably should have ironed this one, but it'll work itself out. There's nothing like some fresh clean bed sheets. That's what my mom always says. I'm sorry that my life is so uninteresting today that you have to watch me change bed sheets. What other interesting thing can we do today? Don't choke yourself. <laughs> I just gave her one of those dental bones to chew on. She needs to chew more bones. Usually she doesn't like them, but she likes these ones for some reason. Ooh, I think we're gonna fall asleep though if we sit on the couch. Go outside! Come on, let's go outside. Let's go to the park. It's 4.30 now. I'm just thinking what to make for dinner because we have to go and get some food now at the grocery store. So I want to make a list. And I really want to make a vegan lasagna. I've been wanting to make one since before Christmas and I still haven't made one yet. So I think I'm going to try and make one tonight. So I'm just going to look on Pinterest for some vegan lasagna recipes. Best vegan lasagna. The thing is, is I don't have vegan cheese here. Like in Japan, they don't really have that. So I need one, yeah, with just tofu. All right, I'm gonna use this one for hot, from the Hot for Food blog, but I'm gonna change it slightly to the ingredients we have here in Japan. We are at uh, Nisa now, the grocery store, the international grocery store here. Oh yeah, I can see the tower from here. Ooh, Brussels sprouts, yes. Ooh, these are new. Kale crisp, sriracha and hickory barbecue and sea salt. No corn, no nuts, no dairy. Okay, I think that's it. We did pretty good. We're done grocery shopping. I always need to pick out one treat for the ride home. I don't know why. <laughs> but yeah, today I'm gonna try these kale crisp in the flavor hickory barbecue. So it says their number one ingredient is kale and they're made with crisp chickpeas. Let's try. ATC card is inserted. Mm, wait. These are delicious, try. You can really taste the kale. 
this route Which, is it, it, not in a bad way either. Road. All right, see you guys Please at home. Proceed to the highlighting. I bought myself some flowers. So pretty. First, we're gonna make the pasta sauce. I'm sure you could get away with canned or jarred pasta sauce, but um, I'm gonna make it from scratch just like the recipe did. So you need a half of an onion, finely diced, two garlic cloves minced. To a pot, you're gonna add your diced onion. You can add a little bit of olive oil to saute them in. I'm gonna do my water trick again. I'm not gonna use any oil today. I'm just gonna turn on the heat to medium and when they start sort of browning and if they stick a bit, I'm gonna add a bit of water. Okay, that's looking good. I'm just gonna add in my two minced garlic cloves now. Okay, when that's cooked up, you can add your one can or about 15 ounces of diced tomatoes. and two tablespoons of tomato paste, about two tablespoons of fresh Italian parsley, and two tablespoons of fresh basil chopped up, one tablespoon of dried oregano, and a little bit of salt and pepper. Okay, you can just let this simmer on low heat while we prepare the rest of the stuff. So for the tofu crumble part, which is gonna take place for the cheese, you're gonna take a block of extra firm tofu and crumble it. We're gonna add a quarter cup of nutritional yeast, and two garlic cloves minced, two teaspoons of lemon juice, about two tablespoons of fresh basil chopped, and just a little bit of salt and pepper. Okay, I'm gonna set this to the side. And now to a blender, we're gonna make the white sauce. So we're gonna add one block of silken tofu, a half cup of unsweetened soy milk, two tablespoons of nutritional yeast, two tablespoons of cornstarch, two tablespoons of tahini, and a half cup of vegetable broth. And then you're just gonna blend it all together until it's smooth. Now I'm just gonna thinly slice some carrots, some zucchini. Then I'm just gonna fry them up to cook them a little bit in a frying pan. Okay, once those become soft, you can just add them back to the plate. And then to the same pan, I'm just gonna fry up some baby spinach. We are gonna take a pan, a deep cooking pan, and I'm just gonna put a little bit of grapeseed oil this time on the bottom, just to be sure that nothing sticks. The lasagna noodles I'm gonna use today are these brown rice ones. Okay, so just a thin layer of sauce. And then I'm gonna add a layer of the noodles. You want to preheat your oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit or 200 degrees Celsius. Add your last layer of tomato sauce. Cover it with aluminum foil. And then once the oven's ready, pop it in the oven and bake it for 40 minutes. Guys, this takes a really long time, a lot longer than I thought it would take. In total, you're looking at about two and a half hours with all the baking and preparing and cooking. Um, so don't make this on a night when it's 6 p.m. and you're starving like I am right now. It's probably a good Sunday afternoon activity. Um, yeah, before, well before dinner, well before you're hungry. Have a nice drink, put on the TV and watch something or put on some good music and make this because I know it's gonna turn out good. It just takes a lot of time. 
Um, so I am gonna prepare now. This has about 26 more minutes left. I'm gonna prepare some garlic bread right now for my boyfriend. Um, I'm not gonna make any for myself. I was gonna, but I got so hungry while I was cooking this. I've gone into my baguette and I've eaten most of it now. That has about 10 more minutes to go now. While it's still cooking, I thought we should do this last Sante winner because I still haven't done it yet. And I remember, I, I know I still have to do it, but when I was in, I forgot about it when I was in Canada. And then when I was in New York, I was just like, I'll just wait until I get back to Tokyo. So it's a bit more organized because a lot of the things you guys requested are from Tokyo. So I have to buy it from here and send it from here anyways. Let's go find out who is the winner. So this giveaway was from my Christmas Eve video. Oh, no, 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 not Christmas Eve. It was from the 23rd at dinner at my dad's. I'm gonna use the random comment picker as always. All right, let's pick a winner. Jelly Babix. I would love to have Japanese snacks for my boyfriend and I. Thanks so much for all these giveaways. And I got your Twitter, Josie. Okay, let's pick another one. Again, Alex Zhao. I would love to get some Japanese snacks. They look so good. And Instagram. Congratulations, you guys are the final winners of my Vlogmas 2016 I'll do that again. Congratulations, you guys are the final winners of my Vlogmas 2016 Sante giveaways. Um, all of you, most of you guys, pretty much everything I got asked for was always either Kylie Jenner lip kits or Japanese snacks. There's a few other like different makeup brand products I got asked for or pajamas, but those were like the number one requested things. So. Yeah, you guys really like either Japanese food and snacks or Kylie Jenner lip kits, which I also like too, so I can see why. It's three minutes left. All right, it's done, so I'm just gonna remove. Uh, okay. Just remove the aluminum foil and then place it back in. You're gonna broil it this time for 10 minutes. <sighs> Finally, it's done. Throw these in. You want to let it cool for 15 minutes so you can cook your garlic bread, make a little salad in the meantime, or prepare some other veggies on the side. Okay, it's ready. Finally, garlic bread. All right. It is delicious. This was well worth the wait. Don't even miss the cheese at all. The tofu is really nice in it. it tastes really light and healthy, but really comforting and satisfying, if that makes sense. So what do you think? It's so good. <laughs> Not bad for vegan, gluten-free, no oil, or well, just a tiny, tiny bit of oil to cook it. Barely nothing. Pretty good, eh? Mm. He's going for round two, guys. He really likes it. I think I can eat three pieces myself too. Okay, we both stopped at two pieces. It's actually super filling. I'm gonna pack this up in the fridge and probably eat it for lunch tomorrow. I am just running my bath now. I'm gonna jump in there and go straight to bed. It's 9.30 now, so it's past my bedtime. My bedtime lately is like 8, 9 p.m. latest because of jet lag, so I'm super exhausted right now. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog, and I will see you again tomorrow. I love you very much. Good night.